my name is Oasia and welcome back to my channel if you already knew that and if you didn't know that now you know um I'm gonna be doing a vlog today which is like I don't know <laughs> okay since it's five o'clock I'm gonna treat this as a get unready with me and like what I do usually in my nighttime routine I guess this is not a usual situation but I usually do my homework in the morning but tonight I'm doing it tonight just because I've had a lot of free time on my hands and you know if you're in college the semester just started and I just want to get ahead before the kicks in at the end of the semester <laughs> that was dramatic sorry it's the third week of the semester and I have a boatload of homework if you didn't know I go to FIT and my major is fashion business management huge mistakes in in this major and it's just not for me <laughs> it's just not for me and like I, the first two semesters was cool but like I have three math classes and if you don't know me I struggle severely with math and the past semesters I've had at least like one math class per semester and then I would just go to the tutoring center for them to help me and now it's like I gotta go to the tutor three times a week and I look dumb I don't you know like they're like bitch you've been here three days out of the week don't you know something anything other than math is fine but math is like I'm a little slow with it unfortunately but yeah so that's what I'm doing right now um taking a class called financial plan and assortment or something like that I don't even know what classes I'm taking anymore because it's just a bunch of information thrown at me and I'm just like all right I, I do this I gotta do that so I'm on my computer I'm about to pull up this math I have so much homework y'all like you would think because of quarantine that they would be sympathetic and considerate that you know we're not actually in the classroom some of us aren't even like in the learning environment where they're comfortable in their house but you're just gonna be like i don't care you're in college do the work and i don't like that i don't i don't like that me and my homegirls don't like that and a lot of my math classes once i start not getting i tune out and we had a prerequisite class to this class, which I really zoned out in that. And so I'm like, I gotta go to the tutor. I went to the tutor already two times this week. I don't wanna show my face again. I don't wanna be like, you know, that person. But listen, I'm paying for it. Who cares? I'm paying for it. My expensive ass tuition, I'm paying for it. So who gives a fuck? Who gives a fuck? <laughs> you know, I really don't care if I got my glasses on. I, I didn't know I have glasses. and. I really don't like the way I look in glasses. I hate the way I look with glasses. But um, my contact prescription expired and you know with COVID, my um, appointment is booked in a month. So I gotta wear glasses, unfortunately. And, but yeah, it's okay. We all, we all friends, we all cool here. Um, let me talk about also why I've been kind of slacking on my video production, on my videos on here. Number one, I just felt like my content wasn't good enough. And since we've been in a house, I'm not doing nothing but work, school, work, school. Like, it's just nothing interesting. But, you know, some people like videos like that. Like, I know I do. Like, I'm subscribed to this YouTuber named Jay Majet and this other YouTuber named Ava Jules. Sorry if I'm butchering their names, but they do vlogs of them just chilling in their routines and you know i feel like that's that's interesting to me so i gotta be a crowd out there that's interested in what i'm doing even if it's a small one okay we getting it <laughs> so i did as much of my math homework as i could and i'm going to do some more homework because you know i've been on my grind lately and getting ahead of the game is key in helping with with finals and all that stuff piling up gives me extreme anxiety y'all know i was listing the reasons for why i like kind of slacked up my videos i said one but i didn't do two 
that's my model working sometimes <laughs> and two my skin kind of been messing up because i've been stressed and so i don't like being in the camera if my skin look crazy and that's another thing i was i'm making a video on is my skincare journey because i am trying a lot of skincare to find like what works for me because i don't want to put no harsh prescription on my face because that's what my dermatologist gave me he gave me some harsh prescription like i feel like there's a lot of products out there that can help on my face without doing or putting anything on it that can cause short-term like good effects but like long-term bad effects and that's why i kind of want to go to an esthetician but you know you need money for that let me try myself if it's still looking jacked up i'm gonna go to an esthetician i promise i'm just like ranting on here another point that I wanted to bring up. I do a lot of my work. Every day I have to do at least like one piece of homework because that makes it like so much manageable when due dates start to creep up and you not sitting there like, ooh, <laughs> when did? <laughs> by looking at that due date. That's what I've been doing. I'm about to write a paper or start a paper. Let's say. I don't know if I'm gonna finish it. Let's see what time, what time is it? It is 6.30, I'm gonna stop at like 8.30 and then get into my like nighttime routine getting into bed and i'm gonna start that paper and we'll see how much gets done it's a four page paper and it's like based on reading i'm really good at papers like that so let's see how i work it's not due until october 10th but we have like other assignments along with it so it's like i might as well just do the paper because that looks like something important that needs to be done i can't wait to the last minute you know how some people work so much better under pressure well some people is not me so yeah let me start that paper and yes, I do drink insurers, not for a particular reason. I just drink them because they taste good and I don't know, they remind me of my childhood. <laughs> Also, while I was doing my homework, my boyfriend called, so I started multitasking, but it's okay. I still got a page and a half done, so I was productive. So, I did this much work, which is pretty good. It's nice to get all cute and stuff for YouTube, but yeah, it's just too much. So yeah, I know I said I wanted to do two pages of homework, but people just came in and just started distracting me. My boyfriend called and my grandma came. It was just a lot, a lot, a lot. So I guess that's one of the downsides of being home while in college at the same time. It's just like, a, it's a lot of distractions. It's so easy to just get caught up on anything but the work. But you know, we gotta push through. This is being done like a month in advance, so I'm not stressing it. I just don't like a day going by without me doing something. I guess that's the Virgo in me. If y'all into signs, I like to be productive and have things done way in advance. But now I'm gonna continue with my nighttime routine. So I just finished my homework. I'm lazy. I'm very productive, but I'm lazy at the same time. Like when it comes to like things that like are not completely like a rush, I'll drag it out. So I'm just laying down in the bed working my energy up to get up to brush my teeth wash my face and i'm gonna read like i love finishing my nights off reading a book i don't know it's just it's like relaxes me and i get so excited but yeah i'm gonna get up though because i don't want to drag this video out i put my hair back i'm gonna be able to brush my teeth and wash my face in peace this is when i take my glasses off let's go to the bathroom so I'm going to tell you guys what I did today earlier. I am in the process of learning how to drive, unfortunately. I don't like driving. It gives me much, much, much anxiety. Um, I'm a person that I like things to be planned out and I need structure and with driving is none of that. It's because people can drive reckless, people want to drive fast, some people drive slow. You don't know what you're going to expect. And that scares me. That freaks me out. So I went driving today. And my mom was teaching me how to do the three-point U-turn and park. And oh, that is fine and dandy. 
but it's the part where I gotta watch out for pedestrians and other cars, make sure my, my blinker is on. Wait one second. I live in New York. It's a bunch of cars always on the street, no matter what. I wish I could live in New Jersey or any place that's like suburban, like please. But no, I had to live in New York. So today, for the first time, I, but I've had about four driving lessons. The first three times I, well, technically two, because the first one was so bad, I don't even want to count that. So I had about three driving lessons in total. The first two, I was just like driving around in a parking lot, which isn't like bad because like cars was parked. And my mom picked the area where a lot of pedestrians or cars were around, so I was still nervous around that type of area, but I did better. And today, for the first time, my mom drove like five blocks away from our house. And she was like, hey, you gonna drive us home? And I was like, okay. And at first I was like, I wasn't scared really, because like it looked like it was not that much going on, but Maybe when I got on that road, first of all, it was cars like double cars. So I could have just stayed straight on, on one lane if they weren't there and I wasn't fine. But the fact that I was like in a lane where cars were double parked, I couldn't just go straight. So I had to go hide up to the cars and then try to switch to the different lanes and it was cars coming fast. So I was just like scared. I was like, I don't know what to do. And I was like, girl, you gotta look, you gotta look. And then I was trying to go. Every time I wanted to go, I was like, wait, wait, wait. I was just like, take the wheel. Literally. Go no, one more, one more. Right there. Now take your feet off the brake. And then just. And put both of your hands on the wheel. Yeah. What's wrong with you? He thought he was you. <laughs> now turn in this lot right here. Turn on the dead. Turn, turn, turn. <laughs> Just turn slowly, slow, 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 slow. Oh my goodness. Hit the brake. Hit the brake. Hit the brake. Hit the brake. Let him out. Put the, put the, <laughs> yeah, the phone. And I was shaking. <laughs> when I get nervous, I shake a little bit. Just a teensy bit. It wasn't that bad. I did my best thing. You know, I'm gonna keep practicing because driving is, even though I'm not gonna drive, like, I don't ever see myself driving, even when I get my license, it's something good to know how to do. I'll show y'all my skin care routine for the night time when I got something solid. But right now, my, my skin is not really messing with me. So, I'll just wait. <laughs> you should always wash your face for a minute at least. Yeah, that's my only tip. <laughs> when I turned 21, I'm getting my LASIK eye surgery, which means I'll be able to see without contacts or glasses. By the way, eye cream and skin routine is not necessary at all because your moisturizer can suffice. It's good enough for under your eyes. It's just what businesses come up with to make extra money. They say a lot of things, they can seem like you need eye cream, but you don't. I learned that from Hiram. He's one of my favorite YouTubers. He has a whole skincare page, which is where I'm learning like where to find skincare for me that works. I'm still trying to find it, but he gives great recommendations. Um, if you're struggling with your skin, go to Hiram's page for real. He's so entertaining to watch. I can't sit down and watch someone that's just informative. You have to be informative and entertaining for me to keep attention to it. I'm just gonna zone out and not know nothing. If you wanna be more informed on skincare, Hiram's the guy for you. I have no setup for my phone in the bathroom, so that's why it looks like this even the cabinet. But another thing I do in my routine is every other night I moisturize my hair because even though it's a protective style, I have to protect it and take care of it. Because too many of y'all that get box braids and don't touch or maintain your hair. And then when you take your hair out, it's all crusty and dry and breaking off. This is why you need to moisturize your hair. So I'm gonna show you how I do it. I put my hair in a bun. And you don't have to be a bun, but like put your hair up so you can do it. You can moisturize it part by part. 
Now, I know it sounds like it's gonna take long, but trust me, it's not. So, you can even leave it like this, which is what I'm doing because I'm lazy, as I told y'all. So, I take the back of my hair. Hopefully, you guys can see it. And you see how I, oh no, okay. You see how I just put like one section down? So then I take my oils. I mix Jamaican black cashew oil, avocado oil, and jojoba oil to be together to make this. And then I put it in that section just all across. Let's see how I do this. It's like boom. Rub it in so it's not dripping everywhere. I don't want my hair getting fuzzy. Don't want me. And I'll do that for every part of my hair. Are you about to see me do that? And by the way, this takes less than five minutes. I'm telling you, it's like really not a lie. You just take it part by part. If your hair is like really itchy, and you can't figure out why maybe it's because you're not moisturizing your hair and that is really itchy because all this dandruff comes because your hair is dry because you're not moisturizing it and then at the end i just do like one other one just get my edges keep them healthy and then i wrap my hair up which you'll see in a second at night time, I usually either read or like watch YouTube, but I've been trying to get back into reading just because I, I never used to read two books at once, but I, I found out that Midnight Sun came out. I don't know if you don't know what that is. It's a reference to Twilight, my favorite movie of all time. Um, I saw that the author came out with the book in Edward's point of view, which is Midnight Sun. And I thought that that movie and series was over. So I was like, okay, I've always been invested in the movies, so I might as well read the books. I've never read the book. I just was too lazy and the movies was more than good enough for me. So I settled with the movie. Midnight Sun, I gonna have no movie, so I gotta read it now. I got into the Twilight book, so right now I'm on New Moon. And then my boyfriend wanted me to read this book called Mistborn. Um, it's good, but it's not as good as Twilight. Um, I'm not comparing it to, but it, Miss Bourne is like, it's a lot of stuff going on. And I like romance. It's more action than romance, you know, but that book is good too. So I'll be reading that tonight. But yeah, I'm going to go read. I hope you enjoyed this. I was in the mentality that all my videos have to be perfect. And life isn't perfect. And most of YouTube videos on here is showing real life things. So I'm just going to be another one of them because I'm not perfect. <laughs> And I don't look good all the time. This is how I look at home. <laughs> and I'm okay with that. And I'm okay with you seeing me like that. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Please like, comment, and subscribe. If you stay to the end of this video, feel free to comment your skincare, the products that you use. I'm really into skincare. I'm trying to get my skin right. And I would like to hear about what you guys do in your skin routine, skincare routine. So feel free to comment. And good night. I'll see you next time. Bye.